Hello and welcome to another episode of Excel Learning Series with Syed. In this episode, we will be discussing consolidation of data in Excel. To follow along with me, make sure that you have a copy of the workbooks downloaded using the link in the video description. I said workbooks. That means I'm going to use multiple workbooks in this episode. So make sure that you download and unzip that zip file into a folder and then follow along with me. The first file that we will be looking at is data consolidation in Excel. What exactly is data consolidation? You want to combine the data scattered in multiple sheets into a single sheet. And how do we do it? Let's take a look. In this workbook, I have consolidated data, consolidated data linked, east, west, north and south. If I look at east, it says some kind of sales data and it has type of sales and the applications that were sold in that area. If I go to west, I have almost similar data, but if you pay close attention, the type of sales and applications differ a bit in east and west. The structure is almost same. If I go to north, there is an additional application in south, I have different applications and different type of sales. However, one thing that is in common in all this data set is the structure. With that in mind, we will go to consolidated data sheet, place our selection in cell A3 or A4 anywhere. Do it as per your convenience. Then we go to data tab, then click on consolidate button under data tools. Once we click on that, we have the dialog for consolidate. The function we would like to apply is sum. That's what we want to do. There are other functions you may try with your data, but for now I will select sum. That is the sum function should be applied when the data is consolidated into this worksheet. Now I need to add references. By placing my selection in the reference cell, I will go into the first sheet that is east, select the range I would like to consolidate and click on add. Then I go into west, select the range, click add. Then I go to north and then I select the range. Then I click on add. Then I go to south select the range and I click on add. Now I will make sure use labels in top row and left column are checked before I click on OK. For now, I will leave create links to source data unchecked. We will see that in a moment. For now, let's click on OK. There we go. We have our consolidated data from all those four worksheets into a single sheet summed up and summarized. Now, if I make any change in any numbers available on these sheets, that change will not reflect here because this is a static data. We did not connect it with that one. So how do we go about ensuring that all the changes that we do are reflected? We will create a linked consolidated data. We go into the consolidated data linked sheet, place our cursor in the cell A3, then click on consolidate under data tab. We do not have to select all those references since we selected them a minute ago. Now we select left column. Make sure that this option create links to data source or source data is selected and then click on OK. Now you can see this data is grouped. On the left, we have this number one and two on the top left and we have this plus markings. This is an indicator that this data has been grouped. If I click on two, all those groups will be expanded. If I click on one, those are collapsed. The best part here is if I look at this SEO thing, which is I believe available in South only, I have 1737 as the online wholesale value and here, it says 1737. I will just go ahead and make a change in 1737. I will just change it to 737. Press enter. Let me see if that gets reflected here. There we go. It gets reflected. The sad part with this one is you will never know which sheet it came from. For example, if I just click on this two in the column B, it says data consolidation in Excel. Instead, it should be saying me which sheet it came from, the source of that information, this information. The name of that sheet should be reflecting here. That did not happen because we are consolidating data from the sheets that are in the same workbook. If we do it from the sheets that are in different workbook, that will happen. Let's take a look. Let me close this workbook. I will not save it so that you can take advantage of that book to practice. Now I will go ahead and open a sheet that is consolidated linked.xlsx. That's the sheet you need to open. I also have four other worksheets. I want you to open all of them. East, West, North and South. All these four sheets. Open them one by one. Keep them open. Go to the sheet which is consolidated linked.xlsx. If you go into the view tab, you will see switch windows. If you click on that, it will show you all the sheets that are currently open on your computer. 
and it will have a check next to the sheet that is currently active on your screen. I will place my selection in cell A3, go to data, consolidate and now I will go into the view tab, click on switch windows, then select south and then select the range, add, let's add it. Then I will go into switch windows tab again and this time I will select north, that's the sheet. I will select that data, add, then I will go into view tab again and I will switch to west. Then I select that data, add, then I finally go into the view tab to select the last one that is east and select that range and click add. And now ensuring all my options are selected that is for labels as well as the linked source data then I click on OK. Now I will go back to that sheet which is consolidated linked sheet. The same thing has happened here. If I just expand this one you can see it is indicating which sheet the data came from. We now have the information about that. So this is quite handy and if I go ahead and make a change in any of these sheets for example I just go into south and instead of 1737 I'll change it to 2737 and I go back here and you can see 2737 is now reflecting here. I hope you found this demonstration helpful. Make sure that you practice as much as you can to retain your learning. The more you practice, the more you will retain. In case if you have any questions, do not hesitate to leave a comment in the section below and I'll be more than happy to help you. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and enable notifications by clicking the bell icon. Thank you for investing your time. Stay happy, stay lovely. Until next time.